Welcome to Winning Wall Street's Money. Please take this moment now with helping me. Click here, subscribe. Next, click this bill. Next, ensure to click all. This helps you receive a notification when I post my next videos. Next, click this thumbs up button. After every time you watch my video, this pushes it up in the engagement ratings and means it will be suggested to more people, therefore it's likely to get more views to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate that. I also have a Patreon page. Click show more. Scroll down. This link here, my Patreon, click on it. Select a membership. With this membership, you'll get access to all this information. Very good content. Sunday, May 16th, 6 p.m. New York time. I created this YouTube channel to offer live streaming. We need to get that to a thousand subscribers pretty much as soon as possible. So then I go live because they won't let me go live until I have a thousand subscribers. That's YouTube policy. Okay, what a week it was. Look at the S&P 500 sectors, determine who the leadership is. But first, let's look at the indexes. The S&P 500, index has 11 sectors in it look for what the weekly candle did this was all last week this one red candle huge trading range but it closed back inside this consolidation that's good it's probably worse than that so let's see if it's time to rotate nasdaq 100 yep it's underperforming the s&p 500 index broke below the consolidation dow jones industrial average Broke above the high of last week. Leadership. And the Russell 2000. It's in acceleration. Dow Transports, all time new high. And Dow Utilities, still trending in acceleration. Got it. So we already see these top three indexes. Specifically, these first two the NASDAQ 100 and the SP 500. We see the S&P 500 is outperforming the NASDAQ. So let's go to the 11 sectors in the S&P 500. They're weighted average different. I'm gonna give them an order. The first I'll give from the top down be the largest percentage that makes up the S&P 500. And we wanna see when we look at each of these, did it make a new high for the year? Is it did it make a new high from last week? Is it trending up? Trending down or acceleration phase. It's never too late to rotate out of weakness and into strength. Because you got that going on now. XLK. It's trending down. Made a lower, low, lower high than last week. It's in a consolidation. XLV, it's in a consolidation. And let me clear this again. This is a consolidation, it's trending down to the bottom of consolidation. That's what I mean. Big picture, it's in this consolidation, but with that trending down to the bottom of consolidation, we'll have to see if it reverses. So this new week, excuse me, we're looking for triggers to determine where to be in. XLV, it's in a consolidation, much better. Consolidation, break out to the upside consolidation. Much clearer picture here in XLV, what's happening for us here. XLF financials, all time new high, outstanding, strong trend to the upside. You can see my past videos I gave you on financials. Look at those. There's some that are still outstanding in there. XLY, broke below the consolidation and closed below the consolidation. No longer leadership. Huge sell off, much more fear here distribution, smart money leaving and rotating into something else. XLC is in exhalation. It's a tight exhalation. It's building a call. It's going to break out one way or the other to have a new trend. 
excuse me. XLI, all time new high. The trend is still strong to the upside. We're going to see if we have follow through for the next week. XLP also all time new high and broke out of this consolidation. XLE all time new high also took out that swing high. It's almost like forming a cup and handle. XLU, it's in a consolidation, still struggling. You have others that are trending, hitting all time new high, and here or not. XLRE. All-time high, close back inside this consolidation. XLB, all-time new high. Into a trend to the upside, strong like bull. And this sector is materials and makes up roughly 2.5% of the S&P 500. Small sector, but it's trending. Excuse me. Now let's look at some single stocks. The FANG. These stocks in the NASDAQ 100, they're the, some of the most heavily traded stocks that have the heavily weighted average. So when some of these move individually, they make the index wave a lot more. But let's see if they're underperforming the indexes I showed you as well as the sectors. Because that would help you determine if you're in these to get out of them. If they're underperforming, Apple, all-time high for the years here. We are not there. It's in a consolidation trending down. This is not leadership. There's better stocks than this. There's better indexes than this. Microsoft broke below this consolidation. It's trending down. Amazon also broke below the consolidation. Over the past few weeks, it did hit a new high, but it's trending down. Facebook. It's an exhalation. Google, it's an exhalation. Tesla, it's in a consolidation, trending down near the bottom. There's a high for the year. Consolidation, breakdown, consolidation. See this? Staircase pattern low and low. November Victor Delta Alpha. It's trending down, broke below this consolidation. Netflix also broke below this consolidation, trending down. Here's the high for the year. Bravo, Alpha, Bravo, Alpha, Alibaba. Trending down, broke below the consolidation, high for the year there, and high for last year there. It's struggling. So the takeaway you look at some of these stocks, most of them are, <clears throat> most of them are underperforming the indexes. Most of them are also underperforming many of those sectors I saw, showed you. So you'd be better off investing right now in some of those stock indexes I showed you, as well as some of those sectors. And you see where they're rotating. Some of these stocks I just showed you here are pulling back, but on weakness. So you could look to reload. Microsoft, let's look at this a little bit longer. Duration, again. Three year duration each candle, each candles a week. So I'm looking for a further pullback to occur and a potential price level to reload. I would not be buying here. But again, see the momentum here? It's much better than something like this. It's deep. Trending down, the momentum's down. That, it's not good. Yeah. It's not even above the highs of last year. That's not good. Take it off the watch list. Take it out of sight. Focus on leadership. Microsoft. It's already above the high of last year. And it's gradual pullback like some other indexes. Amazon. Huge consolidation here. And it's pulling back. It's pulling back on weakness. Come down to price level. Look to reload. Just recently made a new high, but it's selling off like the indexes. Better than the other ones I showed you. Let's look at yeah, Google. Huge run up. The momentum's up bullish Google. It's in exhalation. 
So when you look at the longer duration, here again, we're looking at three years, each candle is a week, much stronger and a pullback, didn't even break below the consolidation. Where I just showed you several stocks broke below the consolidations. That's not good. Tesla, that's not leadership, it's struggling. We're not at the high of the year anymore. We're much closer to the low of the year. Huge whipsaw, it's struggling. End it here. Comment below what you think. Thank you. Thank you, as always, for spending just a little bit of your time with me. Let me know what you thought about this video. And please let me know what you want to see next. If you got value from this video, if this was helpful, then please consider sharing a small monetary donation to my channel by going below and clicking on my PayPal link. You can leave a small tip. If you don't want to share financial support, no problem. Just click the like and subscribe.